In other news, the White House says U.S. President Joe Biden was not given advance notice of the FBI search of former President Donald Trump's Florida home. Federal agents entered Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence on Monday night. The White House says the Justice Department conducts investigations independently. Trump and some Republicans in Congress have put the department under pressure, saying it should explain the basis for the search. You know, the president and the White House learned about this FBI search from public reports. We learned just like the American public did uh, yesterday, and we did not have advance notice uh, of this activity. Uh, president Biden has been very clear from before he was elected president and throughout the, his time in office that the Justice Department conducts its investigations independently. He believes in the rule of law. In this White House, uh, there's no place for political uh, violence in this country. Uh, people have the right uh, to raise their voices peacefully, uh, but we would strongly condemn, as we have many times from here. The president has condemned any efforts to plan violent behavior of any kind. And and so we would, add, we would ask Americans uh, to, to remain peaceful uh, in this time again. For more on this, we can cross live to the United States and join Arise U.S. correspondent Rotimi Kade. Rotimi, thank you for joining us on Newsday. So the White House is saying Joe Biden had not give, been given prior notice on the FBI search of Donald Trump's home. What more can you tell us? Uh, well, yes. Uh, well, the, the White House Press Secretary actually tried to explain uh, as much as she can yesterday on the podium uh, that the president was not even aware of what happened. Don't forget the president is just trying to recover from COVID and had so many other presidential engagements. And uh, what happened um, in the last 48 hours was not to the knowledge of the president. And um, the White House damage control uh, actually um, is not really working out as, um, you know, a lot of people do not believe that the president was not aware of what transpired um, in um, the executive uh, search warrant um, against um, the uh, former president's um, home in Mar-a-Lago. However, uh, we've seen, you know, a, a lot of um, protests um, um, in Florida, uh, that's um, um, in the residence of uh, the former president, and a lot of people throwing their supports, you know, for uh, the president as being a, a political victim. And um, on the other hand, we've seen some other people who believe that the president has a case to answer as regards um, the um, incident, or uh, as, as regards the uh, the the um, documents that was said to have been in possession of um, the former president. And um, what we understand uh, from our investigation is that um, Trump's lawyers have been in talks with the uh, Justice Department um, since June this year, uh, trying to find out whether the president actually is in possession of some of those documents. Uh, we also understand that about 15 boxes of uh, have been returned uh, so far this year by uh, the Trump's team uh, to the National Archives. And we also understand that uh, the National Archives uh, uh, asked the Justice Department to begin investigation whether the president actually broke up the law uh, by keeping those documents in his uh, department. So our guess would be that um, the Justice Department actually contacted the FBI uh, for investigation and that's what we've seen so far and I think uh, what the White House was trying to say there was that a due process was followed and there was absolutely no political interference. All right, Rotimi, um, is there pressure for the Department of Justice to go on uh, record and actually explain why they carried out the raid as a lot of people are asking? Yes, uh, there's um, immense pressure uh, from the Justice Department to actually explain further. I mean, Republicans, um, um, warlords, uh, political heavyweights are calling on Justice Department uh, to actually explain a uh, reason why they authorize um, that um, um, search um, in the first place. And is there any political um, um, connection to it? Is there any political motivation behind it? Uh, is it to uh, hunt down the former president? And uh, so far, so good. The Justice Department haven't responded to the yearnings of um, the opposition 
uh, to actually carry its name from uh, what transpired. But we also understand that um, since um, the Attorney General, uh, Mary Garland, uh, assumed office as the Attorney General, um, he's been very, very um, equivocal about um, you know, being independent from the White House, unlike what is obtained in the previous administration, uh, where the president is most likely uh, calling on um, the Justice Department to actually act accordingly. I uh, want to believe that uh, the department is acting independently at this time. Uh, we cannot say that for sure, but until they release a statement concerning the FBI search, uh, we'll definitely be waiting on uh, what um, that would be. Well, how do you think all of this will impact Donald Trump and his possible run for president come 2024? It's a very good question. I think it's a double-edged sword for the, the president. One, it could be that um, uh, his political fortunes may have been diminished as a result of this um, because it's a federal crime uh, for any federal officials, irrespective of the position held, president, vice president, governors, or whatever position has been held at the federal level, uh, to actually uh, keep, uh, you know, uh, possession of a federal document, um, this time um, White House documents and uh, what transpired on the, his administration. And uh, a lot of people might want to, you know, about on the integrity of the former president. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we could also see um, a lot of sympathies um, on the part of some people who are uh, perhaps maybe liberal or maybe just um, just like Donald Trump um, as a person. And, and they're seeing him as, you know, a victim in all of this um, in an event for him not to come back. Uh, but this is a, if this um, investigation actually go as, um, you know, as planned, uh, there's high possibilities that um, he may not, he may be barred from office uh, come 2024. And that could have a repercussion on both the Democrats and Republicans. Well, uh, Rotimi Kade, uh, good to see you. Thank you so much for your analysis and for joining us this afternoon.